Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Neon Abyss. It's been a while since I've had a recording session. I just remember that we actually unlocked a new character and I was really excited to play him, so... Kind of impressed. Just finished our Amnesia uh, playthrough there. Oh, I don't know if this counts as a spoiler, there are 13 episodes. So it's a pretty short little six and a half hour series if you're interested in checking it out. Any case, let's see what our main man over here can do. Can't remember. Lucas can place an unstable mine, which has a chance to explode immediately. Use E to place mines. Well, just the fact that I'll be able to access uh, secret rooms and stone chests and things like that. It's pretty nice. Let's see how it works. Okay, cool. Oh, risky, risky, risky. I like it. So what ended up happening in our previous episode is we ended up beating Athena. Um, so, oh, his damage doesn't actually seem too great. Now we ended up beating Athena, which is beautiful. The, the downside, I would have to say, is uh, that all we can do now is grind bosses, essentially. That is what is left for us in this game, which it isn't a bad thing. We can just go into autopilot and speak a bunch of nonsense, which is what I wanted in the first place for this game. Just something I can kind of switch my brain off and just chill and, and find fun, interesting combinations and then go from there. So I'm pretty sure or pretty happy that we actually finished the game. That's pretty nice. And I'm really excited to see... Um, Oh no. That was gonna blow up. Maybe. More coins you have, the more melee damage you do. Um, so I'm pretty excited by the fact that we actually finished. Sorry. Let me just sort this, this mess out over here. Um, what was I saying? Pretty excited that we did finish the game. And that we got all of the boss stuff out of the way. So we can now just focus on. Yeah, why not? Focus on taking some new items and not always trying to. Try to play well, but not necessarily take the only, uh, the best option, you know? We can, we can have a bit of fun. Oh, that was close. We can take it a bit more risky. Oh, come on. Try some interesting items and uh, combinations and see how far we get with that. So yeah, how am I been doing? I've been doing really good. I actually ended up having three days off from recording um, just because I had a big backlog and um, power stuff, big backlog. Because, so what happened is yesterday morning I wake up and um, I played, or we played Counter Strike until like three or four in the morning. Or well, three in the morning, we just sat on Discord talking absolute nonsense for a few hours. Um, that was stupid. But, so what that actually led to is me waking up like death on Sunday. No, on Monday. And, I'm just going to pretend like I don't know that was going to happen. Anyway, wake up feeling like death yesterday. I also had a braai on Saturday, which is essentially a informal grilling ceremony. And yes, obviously, I'm making a joke. Don't judge me. Woo! Uh, yeah, so I had a braai on Saturday. That's what I didn't call it Saturday. And it's normally my day off anyway. Then Sunday, uh, my family's just the noisiest thing on planet Earth with constant babies sitting in the lounge crying like, I don't have a problem with that I have a problem with the fact that they're just sitting in the lounge anyway so I ended up I tried to record I just couldn't find uh, I set up the noise gate but then what would happen is we would or I would cut out randomly when the noise gate was set up so that I can um, cut out the background noise even with Nvidia's noise reduction stuff it still didn't work in any case, so that's why I didn't end up recording yesterday. It became too late when <clears throat> everything quieted down. I was like, you know what, screw it. I have a huge backlog in my to record. That was Sunday. And then yesterday morning, I wake up. 
and files out. Like, strange. Check uh, the app that tracks and informs of power outages. And it's like, no, there's, there's no load shedding. What are you talking about? It's not a load shedding here. Yeah? Like, interesting. I'm like, well, if the power's out, I'm just going to go back to sleep because I'm exhausted after our late night gaming session. So I know, tuck myself back into bed, fall asleep, wake up half an hour later, power's still out, wake up an hour after that, power's still out, wake up an hour after that, power's still out. Now I'm tired of sleeping. I'm getting like body hurts from lying in bed for too long. I know, luxurious things to complain about. In any case, so my bug list, I'm gonna get up. And uh, I get up and the power goes on. What the heck just happened? That was like five o'clock in the afternoon, o'clock. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> this, this is just embarrassing now. Can you just die? Really? You know what? I'm just I'm just gonna run at you. Just die. Please, just die. Man, that's frustrating. Not having damage at all. In any case, um, and also bad play, being rusty. And so yeah, uh, I, I spent half my day sleeping, firstly because I was exhausted, and then secondly because there was no power. And then I find out that the power, something at a transformer blew up or something, or popped, or cable theft, or I don't know. Pick one of the third world problems we struggle with every day. And then <clears throat> our power was... The first thing they announced was that it could have been off for two to seven, or five to seven days. And it ended up being off for like four hours. Which was quite nice instead of not having power for five days. So yeah, that was, that was, that was why I didn't record yesterday. Uh, luckily I had a decent backlog and episodes were uploaded and in advance. An intelligent professional would do it, uh, which I'm definitely not. But anyway, yeah. So that that was that was my that was my Sunday and my Monday. Uh, what did I end up doing instead of uh, doing work uh, instead of recording on Sun on Saturday? Well, I had a bri, which, as I've mentioned before, is essentially uh, grilling with friends. I don't know, if you grill it by yourself, it's, it's already sad enough. Any case, you use coins instead of keys. We're lucky we have enough keys. Oh no. Oh no, this is a problem. Hang on, hang on. I'll carry on with the story now. We just need to handle this. We need to handle this. Carefully. You son of a biscuit! Guys, if you stop playing this game within the next week, that is literally going to be the reason why. In any case, so, go to my friend's house, grill, have a few brandies and cokes and uh, catch up. So, I, I hadn't seen them for like four months, five months. So, catch up with them and uh, yeah, that was, that was my Saturday. I got home at like 7 o'clock at night, left at 11, so... It was a good time. Okay, that didn't work as I'd hoped it would, but it still technically worked, so... Yeah, we're probably gonna die. And what did I end up doing Sunday? Sunday, I actually just ended up binge-watching uh, Lucifer. Season 5, Netflix. Because it's a fun show. How do I feel about this season? See, now that's... See that's where it gets a uh, this, this it gets a bit more complicated. It's not as good as four. Yeah, it's just not as good as four. Um, four seemed substantially better. I'm not saying it's bad. It's still better than the original first three seasons. Um, flashbacks. Uh, it's still better than the previous seasons before they came to Netflix for sure. Nice. But in all honesty, it's uh, not the best season. Definitely not disappointing, but it's just a bit strange. Um, 
it just felt not rushed or incomplete or anything, it just felt like they skipped a lot of content or explaining, I guess. And the writing was a bit lazy at times. I don't know, it's not according to plan, but whatever. Yeah, the writing seemed a bit lazy at times, which was quite disappointing. And I just mean lazy, not in the sense of um, the dialogue. Dialogue was on point, Lucifer's jokes were on point, so it was always. Um, but the part that seemed a bit strange and rushed. No, rushed isn't the right word either. Incomplete. Let's just stick with lazy. Um, yeah, some of the writing still just seemed a bit lazy to me. It was all due to the story. Um, a lot of things seemed like it was done for convenience sake, which, hey, it's, it's your shot. Do whatever the hell you want. But a lot of it did seem to me like it was just... How can we make this thing work? Oh, let's force this thing. How can we make this thing work? Oh, let's force this thing. Which I guess is exactly what's been happening in... My spacebar broken or am I broken? Damage me! Damage! Um... Where was I? Oh yeah, so it didn't seem like everything was actually thought out. It seemed quite forced, which is funny that season four, five would seem forced and not three, four. Because um, if I remember clearly, that's when they went over to Netflix. Yeah, I still enjoyed the series. It's not like I watch it for a compelling story. I just watch it because I think he's a fun character. And Chloe Decker's hot, evil hot, so why not watch it? It's a really long delay before he actually puts it down. So yeah, watch that, uh, watch my weekly anime. Let's go and say deal with the devil, I guess. Um, I'm probably going to die again on this run, just because I'm not warmed up. If we, if we can, we, let's just call it not warmed up. Out of it. Um, distracted. Lazy. See if I can call the writing of Lucifer lazy, I should probably call myself lazy as well. Oh, yes. Now this is, this is what I call a gun. This is a weapon of mass destruction. This is what you want when you're feeling a bit down in the dumps, you know? When you feel like you've been... 12 minutes, two deaths, and that's rough. All right. Maybe I should stop talking a bunch of BS and start focusing on the game until I've at least warmed up to the point where I can play the game. Anyway, let's try this again. I wonder if this game has items like uh, Isaac that you unlock by progressing um, and getting achievements. Quite curious about that. Alright, back to whatever this guy, I think his name is Matt or Mark or, I don't know, Lucas. I don't know what his name is. He looks like he could be a Lucas. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Down is a bad direction, um, so we're going to be going up. So I've handled these guys. And then we're going to try and go down. No, don't hurt me. Alright, how are we going to do this? Really? This slowly? Dude. Oh, I am an actual genius. Well, that was a really good use of his uh, active ability, actually. I wonder if this game also has a bulk of the good items hidden, well not hidden, but behind uh, walls of achievement. So I think this game does have a decent amount of achievements. If I do remember correctly, man, I just I just can't do that. I, I don't know if it's possible without double jump. I don't think it's possible without double jump, but this certainly is possible. Because that would be cool um, to give you a reason to try and finish the the game with various characters, which I strongly doubt I've even slightly attempted to do. But that would definitely give you a reason to try and do it, is complete the game with... Beat Blue Baby with Eve, you know, it's one of those. 
Oh, this is fine. I like this one. If I get half a heart, I'm pretty sure we'll fire three bullets, which would be quite a nice way of dealing with these enemies. Oh, don't you dare blow me up, bud. Yeah, so today's a big recording day. If, you, if you're not watching the Amnesia series, I knocked that one out today. And... That should still break the rock. Um, finished that today. So next up on our list for horror games is Amnesia. A machine for piggies. And I finished that one. I didn't finish Amnesia 1. I know I finished Amnesia 2. It was short and not as good as 1. Uh, but I might have been looking at one with uh, rose tinted glasses as well. I, I might add. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And then after that we're playing... Sneeze attack. After that we're playing uh, Outlast. Which I'm pretty excited to see as well. Because I remember number one quite fondly. Had a ton of jump scares. I was scared... I'm not even going to exaggerate here. I was terrified the entire game. Literally from start to finish. I was just absolutely terrified of that game. So, we'll see. <laughs> now we are firing three bullets. But we'll see how that one goes. It, At the very least, it'll be interesting. Uh, I did not know how to dodge that. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Yes, that was my bad and will continue to be my bad as I badly handle and dodge the enemies here. Um, oh. Oh, we just lost some damage because of the damage I took. And we can open this. Funny how this mine that you place doesn't work like a jumping mine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. When was I? Calculating the damage. We, it's literally useless. We're never gonna need that, but cool. Thanks for, thanks for that. Uh, bottom right here. What's over here? Oh, we might as well access this chest now. So yeah, I'm very excited to see what, what Amnesia 2 has in store for us. I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy that. And then we're going to head on to the horror game that literally... I hit Spaceball. I really need to figure out how that works. It's like as soon as you take contact damage, you can't jump, which is frustrating. As all hell. Anyway, yeah, then we're going to head into some Outlaws, which was the one game that literally had me terrified from the word go till the end of it. So, we'll see how that works. I'm, I'm honestly so annoyed and triggered right now. I don't know how the hell I'm going to record two more episodes of this game. He hasn't even reached phase 2, we're on 1 HP, we've lost all our extra damage output, multi-shot stuff. And this bear's just gonna kick my butt. Guys! Ooh! Three losses in 18 minutes? Honestly, oh, something. There's no way to tell whether I've beaten... Yeah, there's actually no way to tell whether I've beaten... Um, any of the bosses with them. Okay, so it's around this episode out. I've always been curious what is the difference between... Uh, the actual difficulties. So, to round this episode out, I'm gonna take Marcus Aurelius Caesar over here. I still don't know what his actual name is. And I'm going to wait. So yeah, we, we activated easy mode. Haha, <laughs> insert diva meme. And now I'm just going to try and 
I want to see. Oh, the enemies are substantially tankier. Oh my lord. Okay. But the enemies are tanky as all hell in... You just hit them like once in easy mode? Are you kidding me? What? Yo, guys. Guys. Why don't you guys tell me easy mode is this easy? What the hell? How come you guys didn't tell me? It's like literally one hits them. Look at this. Okay, well this guy's obviously not gonna get one hit. I'm gonna get hit here. After saying that easy mode is too easy. The big guy takes two hits? Are you kidding me? Just two? That guy gets one hit? What? 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 Excuse me? What? So for the next episode, I'm going to activate the beta branch um, of this. See where it goes. Uh, what? Oh, I'm in the wrong room. Um, activate the beta branch of the game and see where it goes. Why did you run all the way back without going to the room of the teleporter stone? Dude, I have no idea. Like, in all honesty, my, my brain is just mold right now. How did that not hit? Seriously, how did that not hit me? Anyway, we found our crystal. Now we can stop worrying about this. There we go. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so Outlast was by far for the game that made me stop playing because I was scared. Um, I guess you could say that's the case with Amnesia as well because technically I guess... Wait, my own explosions don't hurt me? In easy mode? God, I've been playing this game wrong. This seems like a much more enjoyable experience. Is it impressive to beat the game on easy mode? Probably not. But then you can take the rocket item. Take all of those. Because we'll just we'll just finish this easy run. Um, just for fun, essentially. And then uh, tomorrow I'll switch back to to hard mode. The fact that I'm one-hitting enemies with no damage upgrades is blowing my mind right now. It seems like this impossibility. Hello, KFC. Kentucky Fried Clown. Yeah, you thought I was joking, but it actually made sense. Can't remember who's worse, but it doesn't matter because they both suck and they'll both probably kick my butt. Mm -hmm. Good bounces, good bounces. I'm proud of you. Keep it up. Yeah, you can do it. Keep it up, bud. Keep it up. No, don't stay close to him. He's gonna do the bounce. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna say it's much easier, but it's like ridiculous. Anyway, that gives me time to uh, ramble on. Uh, any, I want to try the Soma horror game as well. Soma means food, sustenance in Japanese. Why? Anyway, um, I want to try that as well. Apparently, it's very similar to Amnesia. Or a lot of people did compare them. And I watched literally nothing of it, and I played literally nothing of it. So maybe after uh, Outlast One, I can check that one out. Uh, sorry, Outlast Two. What I wanted to say is. After finishing Outlast 1, I am going to play Outlast 2. If Outlast 2 is poopy, which I'm pretty sure it is, can um, if Outlast 2 is poopy, then I'm just going to not play. Um, I was curious about Blair Witch's story, that's why I kept going, and. But I already know the story of Outlaws, so if it is a bad game, I'm just probably going to stop playing it, make a video on why it's bad, and then call it a day. 
Bully, that's mean. Of course, it's mean. You're taking dumb damage on easy. Yeah, well, I feel like half my brain is in a catatonic state. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but I do feel like I'm half asleep. But that is generally how I feel by the time I record. Maybe I should record these first in the day. Maybe that's maybe that's the problem. Maybe they need to be first. No, but they need to be later on so I can actually be awake. I could play Amnesia half asleep, but that's fine. Amnesia wakes me up. It's, it's like the ultimate alarm to start your day by uh, playing some Amnesia. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Good weapon, increase your jump height. Uh, something, something, something. Do we have enough money for a 70 cent item? Um, oh no, we don't. We have very close. Oh yes, we do. No, we do. I <laughs> just never picked that up. And we did find our item. So we're going to grab this, go to the shop, and then head on to the next one. Shark and Edo. You can use Exus bombs when you don't have any bombs. Well, luckily for you, that's never going to happen, Eggs. Check out what was in store for us here. And then... Head down to floor 2. Destiny! Active. Reroll the gun's variables. Try your luck. Randomly change the properties of this weapon. Cost 10 coins. If I had 10 coins, I'd do it. But unfortunately for you, Destiny, I don't. I knew someone who was called Destiny unironically, and she was not a stripper. I feel like it's the ultimate stripper name, though. Just the amount, the amount of lines that you can deliver. Like, what, think of all the Destiny puns and, and things you could you could line up there. I'm not even going to point them out, but you you know them. You know you know them. They're written like you don't know them. You know them. I know you know them. Blow that up, just in case. Yeah, I really think there are a lot of puns that you could uh, use. I was like, next up on the stage is Destiny. You know, the, the who, or it'll probably be a woman that does it, but whatever. Whoever does it will uh, have so much fun with the name Destiny. Oh wow, I've already increased my jump height. Though. So no need for all of that nonsense. Hey, let's randomize our gun. No, I'm not exactly sure what happened. At all. <laughs> but we randomized it. We definitely randomized it. I think of more Destiny things, but I'm, I'm drawing a blank for some reason. That is not what I wanted to do. Chance to get a Guardian Sprite when you get hurt. Sprite is cool drink, dude. Sprite is cool drink, sorry. My phone vibrated quite a lot, and I just wanted to check it quick while we're blowing up that hole. Ba -da -ba -ba. Now I'm really getting my butt kicked this, this, uh... This Neon Abyss session. It's actually quite, quite disappointing. So whenever you get bodied by a game and you still need to play like four rounds of it, it makes it so difficult. Um, that was dumb damage. No shit, Sherlock. Thanks for pointing it out. I greatly appreciate your input. But, here's my counter argument. What if it wasn't bad damage? How would it not be bad damage? I don't bloody know. Who's Sherlock? You figure it out. Imagine actually knowing Sherlock Holmes. Like, in the world where he's not a fictional character, and he was an actual detective. Um, imagine knowing him. That must be the most frustrating person to know. You can't lie to him. You can't be like, oh no, sorry, I can't come to your party. I've got this and this to do. And be like, oh, that was stupid. Um, he'll just be like, uh, judging by the your like if especially you take like the 
I'm gonna say the Tony Stark. Um, especially if you take the what's his name, Robert Downey Jr. One. Um, like but I can tell by your heart rate that I can hear over the cell phone that you are lying to. No, I'm not lying to you. You're lying. No. I feel like that would just be a thing that would constantly happen. I don't feel like there are enough stats to randomize. So right now I'm just wasting money for no reason. I would just think of you. You could never tell this person a white lie. Ever. Uh, you can never be like, oh, I'm going to my parents. When you're actually just going out drinking with the boys. Because he'll know. Do you just n never tell him a white lie? Ever. Well, you shouldn't be lying in the first place. Oh, shut up. Everyone lies. If you don't lie, you're lying. Um, just imagine that. No, you can't come to wherever with us. Wait, can't I use my exit keys? Am I, am, I, am I losing it? Did I not get you can use exit keys? Was that on one of my many deaths? Oh. Well, that's rather unfortunate. In any case, so yeah, just imagine that you have this one person in your life that no matter what will always just figure out what's going on. I guess you just end up being completely 110 million percent honest with them at all times, then. Well, you should be honest with everyone. Yeah, shove a sock in. And you shouldn't be a note all straw man in my head. How about them apples? This is straw man. I wish these enemies were this tanky or had this much HP in the high difficulty. Because I hate it when, I guess the same reason I don't like playing hard in Isaac is I hate the fact that the, um, I don't mind more champions, but the fact that the champions just have like six times the amount of HP, she just end up dodging in circles around them for 10 years. That, that I don't find, um, excess bomb. That I don't find com as, as that I don't think of as compelling gameplay. I don't find that gameplay compelling. That's what I was trying to say, but ultimately choked on my words for five minutes first. Yeah, let's see what's in it. Your damage is now insane. What the heck are you, cyborg? Use your hard containers. Add shields. Increase your weapons damage. I'll pretend like I'm happy with that, but I'm not really happy with that. Yo, why is our damage so bad? Didn't we just get two damage upgrades, or am I... Once again... Just misremembering or losing my mind. Both are very possible. I am half cyborg. With bunny ears. Cat ears. Literally just picked up an item called cat food and I call it bunny ears. Oh. Let's head it down. We're on floor three now, so we won't be getting any uh, secret room indications other than the secret room indications that we ourselves were looking for. So keep an eye out. I'm gonna try and remember to look for them. Let's let's be honest here. Remember, we're not allowed to lie. Said the straw man in my head. Um, if we're being at all honest, we probably uh, are going to miss it. <laughs> Give me better damage. Give me better damage. It's a high fire rate. Okay, I like the high fire rate. Um, but would really also enjoy having more damage again. That would be a pretty nice one. Aww. Can't blow myself up. Yo, I can just hyper jump? Hell yeah. That's awesome. We do actually have a key somehow. And right here. 
Oh no, there's two. I didn't about one. I was about to say, I, I shouldn't stand over here because then he's gonna blow me up. So I just stopped pressing the rides altogether. Well, they didn't get blown up, so. I guess I'm winning. Well, you died three times in 18 minutes in this video. You're not winning anything. Okay! Jesus, why are you so harsh, man? What did I ever do to you except waste 18 minutes of your life? If you see that it's wasting 18 minutes. Good chance. I'll think about what I've done. What I've done. You know what? I think I'm just gonna call one episode of this today. I'm just not feeling it, you know? Maybe we'll record one after this on hard again. I'm just going to become an easy player. Hmm. That was like a good idea. Become a chill easy player. Until they bring in a way to track what you've done with that character. Yeah, so here's the plan. I'm gonna record this one episode. I don't even know what I'm telling you guys. It's not even gonna make a difference. I'm gonna record this episode. And I'm going to record one more episode of something else, which is still to be determined. Um, and then what I'm going to do is land on this moldy heart at some stage. I can feel it happening. Um, what was I saying? I'm going to record this episode, and then tomorrow I'm going to switch it over to the better branch. I have to switch it over to the better branch literally after recording this episode actually And also my sinuses are making me all sneezy and itchy And unfocused No, it's not the amount of nonsense I'm talking that's making me unfocused, okay Don't you dare say that about me and my nonsense My nonsense never did anything to you uh, I know we can jump high, but we can't jump that high. And all the boxes caught fire somehow. Somehow. Well, your helmet. When I get hurt by an explosion, well, that's not gonna happen because apparently I can't get hurt by explosions in this difficulty, so. That item's never gonna do anything. Take me to the bars where I can do some dental floss. I've made better jokes than that before, have I? Was that like my best joke? And actually, I'm just terrible. This is a raven, and this is something to do with keys, so let's take that. Each time you use a key, you might drop a bomb. You know what? I'll take it. Hey, Frederick! I'm back for a vengeance. Back with a vengeance. I'm back for revenge. I'm back for a vengeance. I don't know, guys. I feel like everything is letting me down now. My, my brain's letting me down. My reflexes are letting me down. Don't bring me down. 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 See, I'm just letting myself down now as well. <sighs> After this. Ooh, a bomb. The thing I have infinite things of. More mines? Or a bell I've never had. Can I have the bomb back? Every time you kill an enemy, there is a chance that something will happen. Yes, I'll read it now. Every time you kill an enemy, there is a chance that... Kill it with melee damage is a chance you'll receive extra coins. Wow. I'm so excited for that. Can I go to the boss fight, please? Or not. You know, this works too. Fly me to the moon. How'd I even end up there? I actually wanted to put down a bomb and I ended up picking up an item. 
All right. Not really sure what happened there, but we have a lot of health and there were a lot of explosions. So that's a bonus. I need to blow my nose. Nobody knows how itchy it is. We're heading into summer, we're heading into summer. Are we though? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can't taunt me like that. What is this? That did not solve my problem. Guys, I'm mad. What if I blow myself up? No, it needs to be one of them, them instant explosions, I think. Doom! I just keep spamming mines and keep... Hey! Who's a genius? I'm a genius. Yeah, my nose is still super itchy and running, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna start playing really aggressive so I can finish this video and blow my nose. I know that's very rude and unprofessional to do, but it is what I'm going to do. And that doesn't mean we're going to die. I think we're pretty good on not dying. I think we're pretty decent on the not dying front. Um, I'm not even going to mention that that wasn't me and it aggravates me severely that it happened. I'm just going to ignore the fact that it happened, grab this egg, and then uh, head on to the next room by jumping over everything here. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do, but hey, it's what I did. No. 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 Come on. Be there when I need you to be there. Oh. I'm leaving. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. After that embarrassing display, I just don't care. How uh, could you die? Oh, fantastic. I'm glad I did that. That doesn't make me look like an idiot whatsoever. Oh, my jump height has changed. So what? Nade time has changed. There we go. Actually, our nade explosion has also changed. Haha, uh -huh, you thought I couldn't get there, but I could because I had a grenade. Cause darling, I will catch a grenade for ya. Does it say darling or does it say something else? Cause darling sounds wrong. Is it baby? Baby, I will catch a... Mm, mm, probably baby. I can't picture Bruno Mars singing darling. Something to do with bombs. Here's the key to the chance you'll get extra shields. Okay. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm not going back for the five cents. I am a sinus wreck right now. So, we are going to get hit by those bears. There's nothing I can do about it because I am too late. Paulie, have you realized now that it's not the game's fault? It's actually just because you're bad. Shut up. Go away, bad me in my head. Don't have time for your nonsense. Where is this boss fight? I've already found it. I do like the fact that explosions can't hurt me though. Like I'm a, I'm a big fan of that. Well, my own explosions can't hurt me. That should be a thing. That should just be a thing in the game. A game thing. You know one of those game things? I want them! They were useless! Are you kidding me? Oh, that was... That was something else right there. Yeah, the fact that they're not super tanky is so nice. I can just pick their butts right off the start. 
quite a good feeling. There's a little wormy guy. He popped up right above me, I didn't even see him. It's Johnny! Johnny, take us away! No. Sounds more like he'd be like an in the field reporter. Going down to Johnny over here. He is in the field right at the explosion. Johnny, what happened? Ooh, ooh. I am unstoppable. That's what Johnny said. <laughs> Johnny just turns into like a supervillain on the spot. He's like, I am unstoppable. And then the world explodes. And it cuts back to the the. Uh, ooh. And it cuts back to the newsroom, and you just see this guy. Y you know the typical newsman. You know what they look like. You know. Picture that guy, but just like completely and utterly shook. And then that's the season two intro to the boys. Come on, you didn't see that coming. I wrapped that in something that I wrapped in something else and then I unwrapped it into me wanting to talk about the boys. Come on. No way you guys could have seen that coming. Do these hurt me? Indeed redo they do. If I knew that, I would not have taken them. But hey, I didn't, so I took them. Kill that broccoli. Pink broccoli, bad broccoli. Let's find out what's in there. Yeah. I'll go that. Let's go this way. Wait, I've got purple room. Uh, wow. Thank you so much, Athena. You mad because I kicked your butt last episode? I would. I can't get out of the trap I've made. The only one who was trapped was me. It shouldn't seem to me. Uh, so yeah, The Boys. Season 2 is almost coming. I'm not exactly sure what the actual date for Season 2 is. Um, but if you have not watched The Boys, and if you are... Tired of... Uh, Typical portrayal of, I would say, superhero movies. That's why I've always liked Batman, is the fact that he's, and why I like specific iterations of the Batman. Uh, I'm just gonna get hit by this guy for eternity, apparently. Um, the angle he attacked me at made it really difficult to dodge his shots, okay? Um, what was I saying? Batman. Oh, the reason I like Batman more than most of the superheroes is just because he's actually a vigilante. He's not a, a hero. He just loses his shits and shit and beats the crap out of bad people. Um, he isn't a hero. He is just... He isn't the symbol of hope or the symbol of fear, hatred, revenge. Made, made him a bit different, you know, and that's why I think the the boys. This is gonna blow up, um, and that's why I think the boys going a similar route of not portraying heroes as they are typically portrayed was a really good move on their part. Oh, okay, we're here. And I still don't feel like I deal much damage, but okay, it's just ordinary Argus, I guess. Ow! No! Why are your eyeballs so? St Freaking tanky, bro! Did you not get the memo? We're playing on easy! You're supposed to make me look good! I have come to the conclusion that I might die. I moved! Oh, that's actually just there to make you move, but then you realize that you shouldn't have moved! You know what, guys? That does it. I'm done. I'm done with this episode. 
don't think I'm done with this game for today. It's always difficult to get back into it when you took a little break uh, from it. This game really is difficult to get back into. Um, but either way, I think that's probably going to wrap it up for us uh, this episode. I'm going to be quite honest. What's this guy's name? Lucas. Not my man. Matt. My man. Oh, Lucas. Yeah, uh, that was a poor display of literally everything it could possibly have been a poor display of. So, uh, I'm going to download the beta branch now so I don't forget again. So, we can check that out in the next episode. And that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're disappointed, click like. If you enjoyed that, click like. If you like me, click subscribe. And I'll catch all of you in the next one. Cheers.